that worked. It worked. Within about three years, they had some six to seven pound bass. The green sunfish numbers had plummeted. Hey, Mr. Pond Balls, tell me what to do to make all my Lunker Lake dreams come true. Hello, everybody. Bob loves the Pond Boss. I took. I looked at a, at a three acre pond. Oh God, this was a long time ago. Probably twenty five years ago. <clears throat> it was just loaded with green sunfish about that big. Now, what had happened in that lake, it had had a fish kill a couple of years earlier and killed all the bass, all the bluegill that were in it, but the green sunfish made it because they have a little uh, lower affinity for oxygen than some of the other fish do. Well, what they did was after the fish kill occurred, the lake rebounded, but it rebounded with a whole bunch of green sunfish. And so what happened there is over about a two-year period, there were six or seven different size classes of green sunfish. Well, what caused the fish kill in the first place was this pond sits in the immediate downstream watershed of a turkey farm. And so what we decided to do there was we could spend the money on rope known to take out the green sunfish from this three-acre pond. The point source for the uh, pollution, the uh, waste coming off of a turkey farm was gone. The turkey farm had been eliminated. So our choice was we could rope known and kill all those green sunfish or come up with another plan. Well, it was gonna cost about $3,500 to rope known that pond and we were able to buy some 12 to 14 inch bass whose mouths were big enough to eat those green sunfish. So in that case, instead of starting the pond over, we went and bought some fairly young 10 to 14 inch bass, stocked them in there with some adult bluegills. And the theory there was that the bass would chow down on the green sunfish wipe their numbers down, the bluegill would start to reproduce, and bluegill in that part of Texas reproduce five times a year, the green sunfish reproduce once. So my thought process there that I hoped would work and that the landowner bought into was that if we stocked those advanced bass that were about a year and a half old, that they would feed on the green sunfish, grow fast, the bluegill would outcompete the green sunfish for spawning areas and reproduce a bunch, that worked, it worked. Within about three years, they had some six to seven pound bass. The green sunfish numbers had plummeted. Bluegill numbers were going up and we had a thing that was working pretty good. By the way, we stocked, I think it was uh, 20 largemouth bass per acre. So we only put 60 bass in there. And the next year the bass spawned, they got ahead of the green sunfish within about 18 months and that deal worked, worked real good. Palm Boss Magazine. Now this is what fuels the economy so I can do stuff like this, 35 bucks a year. Cheaper than a Friday night date, and it lasts a year. Adios for now. Hey, Mr. Pond Balls, tell me what to do to make all my Lunker Lake dreams come true.